Right, YouTube, it's Shadow King King Nazaru, and we've got the uh, first trailer for Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City, which we've talked about on the channel before. This is the uh, Resident Evil reboot uh, for the movies. Yeah, the one that included the uh, Latino Leon S. Kennedy and uh, another person of color for Jill, I believe. Uh, let, let's not get into that. So uh, let's check out this trailer, see if they, if they can do the game's justice. Every okay, yeah, there's Claire. The, the uh, Raccoon City SWAT team. Discovery the umbrella. Of evil. Uh, it takes place in the late 90s, okay. Why are you back here, Claire? Your conspiracies weren't true when we were kids, and not true now. Okay, hey, talk about to Claire the expo Claire's ex trying to expose uh, Umbrella's conspiracy. I'm afraid, Claire. I'm afraid of what they're gonna do to this town. Hey. You see, Umbrella, they have an incident. Talk Is that William Birkins? I mean. Oh. People are getting yeah. sick. Okay, zombies. Oh, uh, there's the truck. There's the truck guy from Resident Evil 2. And there's the outbreak. Uh, the dogs. Cerberus dogs. More zombies. I think it's gonna be a little bit better on them. Oh, uh, and then there's tokenized Leon. It's more like Carlos. Oh, there's Birkins again. What a weird music choice for a horror film. This is where you're experimenting on them. Okay, learning about the umbrella experiments. And there's the Arclay Mansion incident. They're trying to mix Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 2 story. Which honestly could be movies of their own. There's Jill, apparently. Oh, oh, the, zo the first encounter with the zombies. So this definitely is being more faithful. Oh, itchy, tasty. Yeah, this is definitely being more respectful towards the games. If nothing else, I can say that at least. Uh, service dog. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let, let's go back to bed. Let's go back. Oh, it's uh William Birkin's third form, I believe. Yeah. Of his G virus mutation, and uh, that CGI can look better. I mean, I know this again, I know this film has a low budget, but we could do better than this. Come on, oh, liquor. Okay, cool. And then we'll the records. Swiss Leaf Theaters, November 24th. Well, they haven't exactly been doing a lot of promotion, but again, low budget. So, um, yeah. Well, I can definitely say it's more faithful to the to the games, which is already a a huge advantage over the Resident Alice movies, which was basically glorified fan fiction to pander to Paul W. S. Anderson's wife and just included Resident Evil elements. Loosely, uh, but like I said, I'm really not too keen on them trying to mix uh, the first and second game's story. Um, they honestly been should just been standalone movies. Of this, or the first one should have been about the Arclay Mansion incident, and the second one should be about the Raccoon City outbreak. If you were going to mix any any two stories together. It should have been Resident Evil 2 and 3 because those do take like a few days apart from each other. So they are so close to each other that you could make the argument that those two could be one movie. Uh, and also, I'm not sure how many movies they're, they're going to do. I think they said six films. So are they just going to continue to mix uh, game stories together? Like this first one's going to be one and two, two. Second one's going to be, what, three and four? Or then five and six and seven and eight. I, I don't know. Oh, and then also they got to do uh, Code Veronica. Uh, whatever. All in all, uh, uh, I I I still don't. I still think the CGI still needs some work. Uh, there are some good practical effects 
with for uh, some of the creatures, although the zombies could use a little bit more uh, polishing and a little bit more deformity and gore on them. Uh, Birkin's, Birkin's still, still needs a lot of work, in my opinion. Uh, again, I'm not a big fan of uh, Jill and Leon being race swapped. Uh, they definitely should have tried harder to get good actors that also look like the characters. But you guys tell me what you thought. Are you excited for this uh, Resident Evil uh, reboot? I'm more on the uh, cautiously optimistic. I might give it a chance if I hear that it's a uh, hear good things about it. You let me know in the comment section down below. I'll catch you mortals later.